Hey guys. Hey, welcome, welcome. Uh, my name is Ja, but um, I'm a little bit busy with Alex right now. Uh, so obviously today's live stream is all about Alex. I just found this uh, shotgun from this dead corpse, which is quite interesting. Uh, I fell down the, the pit like three times. I wasn't supposed to do that, but I'm still getting used to the controls, the mechanics. But this gun is straight up badass. <coughs> So I uh, just killed three of them pretty swiftly. Uh, now I gotta figure out which way I'm going to go. <clears throat> uh, of course, Eric is also uh, behind the screen. So uh, any fans of Eric, just uh, ask him if you want to ask him anything. I'm here for the giveaway. And of course, he's I just always put it on the screen. Giveaway. Jad giveaway. <clears throat> uh, let me just uh, get through this game a little bit more. I think today it's not like, it's like 18 plus or something, <laughs> because it's a scary. Oh, wait. Ah. Totally forgot about this thing. He ate a lot of health. But look at this thing, man. I mean, look at this. Do you want to scare people away? <laughs> I mean, come on. It's, it's quite interesting, right? Yeah. I mean, it's not the most pretty thing in the world, but uh, hey. Put it on your face, Ja. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> will it actually stand? Well, I can tell you, I was playing no. this morning, testing a little bit, and yeah, I check it out. I mean, this is really immersive. Anyway, uh, let's talk a little bit about the giveaway. So today we have a giveaway. If you go to Amazon.com slash two slash insider, you can join. Need to fill in some questions, do some things, and then uh, you can... Uh, we do a lucky draw uh, several times during this live stream, and you can win a $20 Steam voucher. Um, so this game is available on Steam. Uh, it's Half-Life, uh, Alex. Um, also, in the, if, if the, the URL amazon.com slash 2 slash insider doesn't work or it doesn't show you the link where to go, then you can also, uh, our spam bot is uh, spamming uh, about each 10 minutes the URL which you can access directly. So uh, please participate and um, yeah, good luck. Yeah, guys, good luck. So uh, what are we going to do today? Only play, Ja? No, 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 no. Uh, all right. Just got one more reason and uh, all right, let me just briefly stop here. Uh, let me get back to the spot and all right, pause the game. <sighs> hey guys, let me just put this away first. I saw you already have something new. Well, because yeah. two weeks ago we had the uh, five. <clears throat> Correct, Eric, correct. So today we're not going with the five. So today we're going with the brand new Valve Index. But of course, later of that uh, in just a bit. Well, uh, Eric already told you guys about the giveaway. So uh, if you just join like right now, go to the link right there and you can still participate. So, uh, well, of course, before we get started, if you joined two weeks ago, you might remember that we did another live stream uh, regarding VR. Or was so, that like two weeks ago? Yeah, that was like two weeks ago. Um, the, for, the reason we did that was because the Alex, or well, Half-Life Alex, was going to be released this Monday. So we thought about, you know, hey, why not get VR started again, you know, uh, to try to see, research, uh, see how the landscape is right now, what kind of nice games are out there, and it was quite a challenge. Uh, so uh, if you guys joined back then, you might have seen that, you know, there were some technical difficulties, but uh, we got through that. So today, uh, we're going to have a good time with Half-Life Alex. Uh, I already got to play with the game for quite a few hours already, and I must say that it really delivers. But where did Alex and stuff all come from? So before that, uh, let me just give you some background information regarding uh, Half-Life and Valve and stuff like that. So obviously, uh, Valve I think everybody is... knows this company. Yeah, I mean, anyone who doesn't know Valve, um, me personally, I always thought, you know, hey, everything that Valve touches becomes gold. I mean, just think about all the numbers, all the games that they have already put out, right? Like uh, Counter Strike. I'm a big Counter Strike fan. I uh, think everybody knows. Yeah. So you know, they have all the all tons of games that are 
they got people really hooked up. Like I remember Left 4 Dead back in the days when I was playing with my uh, friends and stuff like that. It was so fun to, whenever there's a witch, you know, you just startle the witch and then pretend like you didn't startle the witch. Like <laughs> so, a lot of those memorable games out there and still uh, on Dota 2 is still being played. And now they've come out with Half Life Alex, out of nowhere. But uh, just brief uh, information regarding what Valve uh, was all about back in the day. Well, they started uh, all the way back in 1996 by two ex-Microsoft uh, employees. So first of all, the one that everyone knows about, the good old Gabe. So Gabe was one of them. And the other one who doesn't really shine the spotlight like Gabe is, uh, well, Mike. So they both started Valve in 96. And their first debut game, which was quite an astronomous uh, title, it was big and was good and successful, was Half-Life. So, you know, Half-Life, the name, it carries a lot of weight and history behind it because it started all the way back in 98 already. I mean, back in 98, I was only like... Four? No, seven years old. <laughs> Eric, come on, you're going to know your employees. <laughs> So yeah, I was only seven. Um, I'm not sure about you guys, so post them in the chat. Um, I see that we I have a little bit of trouble with uh, the chat monitor, so I'm asking Eric to fix that because I cannot see a thing right now. No. Uh, so to all of you guys, we said hello. Hi, guys. But uh, I cannot see anything as of right now, but it's going to be fixed. So yeah, that's Fall. Now, Fall, of course, brought up, uh, brought up a lot of Half-Life titles out there. And Half-Life, like I said, carries a lot of weight in history. So throughout 98 and 2007, they brought out like four uh, Half-Life titles, including you know, the first one, the Half-Life, Half-Life 2, Half-Life 2 Episode 1 and Episode 2. So all of this in the span uh, between 98 and 2007. So right now, 2020. For 13 years, we haven't had a Half-Life game. And finally, they released Alex. And they didn't just release this like uh, with a big, uh, you know, anticipated and uh, well, well perceived planning and stuff like that. Maybe they did, but it just came as a surprise. I mean, like around November, I believe it was announced and they just dropped this nuclear bomb on us and be like, hey, hey guys, here is uh, Half-Life Alex. Uh, it's going to be released in a few months. Uh, hope you like it. <laughs> yeah, uh, we for oh, sure do. Yeah, and I think uh, everybody was like, Wow, really, seriously, Half-Life actually continued their series and we have a new game now. So yeah, I, I think we, everyone, including myself, I'm a gamer too, obviously. So we all had a, you know, quite a uh, expectation from this game. And that's because we know the Half-Life, Valve, they were, always, they were always capable of bringing out and, you know, publishing good titles that people really, really like. You know, they have a good attention to detail. They take their time, definitely take their time when bringing out new games. So after Half-Life became so successful, you know, there is this new title called Black Mesa. Uh, well, this was actually a remade game by third party. They got two well, parties. I don't want to say third party, you know, there were some, some end users. <clears throat> Just some enthusiasts yeah, well, yeah, it's, who wanted to like high third party and you said, yeah, so they got really interested. First so, was just a mod. And eventually they started this and brought out the free mod. So they were, uh, they were brought out by Crowbar, Crowbar and it was really successful. And they even thought about, you know, getting commercial with this uh, Black Mesa title and they actually got Valve's blessing. Um, I suppose, Quite unique. you know, Gabe got a big bet of, uh, you know, the stuff that he likes the most. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, but it wasn't until uh, 2012 when the free mod was out and then it took another eight years for the full commercial version to be released. It was just a few weeks ago, around 4 March. So it took them a lot of years, many, many years to bring out the full version. So in 2000 and uh, I believe a few years back, they released the first uh, early access version, I believe it was in 2015, and it took them another five years to bring out the full version. They released uh, the statement saying you know, they really wanted to uh, do us good by uh, having the right proper amount of uh, attention to details. And when the game came out, it was a blast. People really loved it because of their attention to detail, how they really managed to develop this game with patience to do it the proper way. So yeah, yet another title seems to come to the Half-Life series and yeah, people just 
love the series. I think they also have perfect timing uh, to release this now when the hype uh, around uh, Half-Life Alex yeah. is at the top. Yeah, it was quite coincidental uh, to think about it, right? So it's yeah. just, just like a few weeks in between the two releases. Um, a lot of people are playing Half-Life now yeah. again, you know, to remember everything. <clears throat> yeah, so I see one guy already asking, what PC are you playing on? You're, uh, well, good question. Of course, uh, Alex is a heavy game. I'm going to talk more about this l later in the stream, but I can already tell you I'm using our Trident X 9th to ensure there's absolutely no problem with uh, the gaming performance. Uh, I also, well, we also have like a spec sheet to give you, uh, to show you all the specifications, specifications of the Trident X, but don't worry, um, there's like a whole dedication, dedicated uh, minute to uh, explore that in just a minute. <laughs> Uh, let's see if there's any more questions right now. Uh, Brocklin says, yeah, VR is so expensive. Uh, I would play it, but if the glasses would not be that expensive. It is expensive. I mean, yeah, yeah, that's true. Two weeks ago, we talked about the, 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 all the VR headsets and with like 300 US dollar, you have a nice headset, but you also need a decent PC with decent specs. Yeah. So that's uh, also the thing, right? So the, the, the better your headset is, the stronger, well, the more uh, powerful your PC needs to be because he has to power up all the extra pixels and the nice screen that you're having. Um, yeah, so true, the VR, VR is still relatively uh, expensive, but my opinion on this is that um, it's more like the, the, the chicken and egg game, right? So if, if neither of the party in this case start to push out great titles, great innovation, then nobody's going to catch up to each other and the market is just going to lag behind. So now the more people are going to focus on this, the more they're going to bring out more titles, more innovative headsets, great gaming experiences and titles. Well, the more factors, the more this market is going to expand and then relatively everything will become cheaper. Yeah, I see Max so, Bunny also talking about uh, VR on MSI laptops. Yes, that works without problem. Mm, yeah. uh, you only need to make sure you have the right connector because some uh, VR headsets they use uh, yeah. like uh, HDMI, others they use uh, a DisplayPort. Uh, and you need to have a good GPU and CPU. Yeah, and if Eric, if you can make it a little bit bigger, I can read it better. <laughs> All right, so let's continue. So Black Mesa, another great one. If you haven't checked it out, you can also check it out later after this live stream. Of course, not now. On, we have arrived at Alex. So Half-Life Alex, it is a revolutionary title in the VR field. I mean, they built this game ground up from, uh, and everything kept in mind was just from um, this VR perspective. So this is really a, a VR concept that came to life really utilizing every element of VR to the fullest. And this is also what you experience when you play the game. So this game really is like the first uh, AAA, yeah, AAA worthy, like your regular PC game, uh, that's, that's a AAA title like uh, Battlefield, you know, or uh, yeah, Assassin's Creed, something that's really just awesome in every way. And this is this kind of title, but then for VR and first of its kind. It's a full length game, so it's not just some side project or just a small entertainment uh, game for you to try out some movement with your arm because it seems fun. This is really a dedicated game with its own story that's very lengthy. It's really a full length game and you can really spend many, many, many hours behind this depending on how fast you'll play it. You can skip through everything, you can scavenge everything, so it really depends on your, on your play style too, but this is really an awesome game in every way. And this is also very well perceived by end users. So on Metacritic, it already has a 93% uh, positive feedback. So that's really amazing. Also on Steam, overwhelmingly positive feedback. And this is all I think because Half-Life really just took their time to create a VR game that really matches Half-Life. If you play this, it's true. Yeah, if you, if you know anything about Half-Life, you know that Half-Life is really very physics based and uh, you can interact with your world, you can interact with the objects and stuff like that. So, you know, I guess it kind of makes sense that they really focused Alex on VR because it makes sense. And when you play it, man, does the concept really come to life? Uh, yeah, so everybody, if you have a question, just drop it in the chat. I'll regularly, regularly keep the chat. Um, uh, after what happens all right so no questions for now so i'll keep an eye on the chat but uh all right let's continue so half-life if you want to play this um this is the kind of uh well the minimum 
requirement that you need. So the game itself, depending on what kind of headset you're using, uh, it's going to differ per headset, so to speak, the requirement, but generally uh, this is the minimum kind of requirement for you to be able to play this game. As you can see, nothing crazy over here. Uh, it's a GeForce uh, GTX 1060. With that you can already have a comfortable experience. And um, as for CPU, this is not a CPU intensive setup. So an i5, uh, the seventh generation 7500 is already enough for you to have a comfortable experience together with 10, uh, 1060. And of course, depending on how far you would take um, your setup, this is going to look completely different. But to start with, this is what you would get. And as for benchmark, well, I tried to get you guys a very well, extensive overview of uh, you know, all the headsets out there, uh, many of the, the most popular GPUs and CPU combinations, but this game is still very, very new and I think we need to give uh, the right benchmarkers the time to really go in depth to give you the overview. But for now, this is the best that we could find on uh, Game Debate. What this basically illustrates is that, well, first of all, let me just say they did this on the HTC 5. So that's a in total 21, 2160 by 1200 pixels uh, headset. Not the highest, so it's really relatively a basic model with basic uh, pixel counts. Uh, so on that model, they did this benchmarking test. Uh, here you can see uh, everything from low to ultra. And on average, uh, the max FPS you would get even on Ultra with the RTX 2060 is around 60 uh, FPS. Which also makes sense because HTC 5 is also a 90 Hz refresh rate uh, headset. But in the fourth, uh, fourth index case, this is different because this one goes all the way up to 144. Experimental, experimental because uh, natively it's 120. More on that later. But just for this, uh, for now, you can keep this in mind. So if you want to go up in headsets, so not HTC 5, you want something with more resolution, more refresh rate, higher refresh rate, well, there you need to uh, definitely keep up with upgrading from 2060 and upwards. And if that's truly what you're expecting or what you want. And so that's for the performance wise. Now, like I said, this is a very GPU intensive game. And well, even though you don't need the most expensive GPUs out there to, uh, to play VR games or uh, VR Alex, well, it's kind of uh, the starting point to start with a 1060 to get you, the, you know, a comfortable experience. And the heavier you want your game to really look, you know, the higher the setting uh, and uh, the better your glasses, or the lenses in your headset, well, the higher you need to go in the lineup. So anything uh, you know around the 2060 to 2080, for example, uh, you can go for like a RTX 2070 Super Armor, uh, which is not the, ex the expensive, the most expensive cards out there. But this will get you a fine, fine, fine performance, even with a very high uh, resolution count. I see so, um, Gamers Club is saying VR gameplay always gives me headaches. <laughs> uh, well, you know. I, play, I, I, I tried the, the, the first VR headsets, which is like, uh, like many years, five, six years ago. And they also gave me, head, gave me headaches. But now the, the current ones, uh, the Vive and this so one, yeah. the Index we're going to use today. Eric's sitting behind the camera. Yeah, yeah, sorry, I'm, I'm another behind the camera indeed. Of not, yeah, behind or in front? Mm, let's just say behind. <laughs> behind the camera, okay. Yeah. Um, so uh, yeah, you should try uh, one of the recent headsets uh, because mm. maybe it's not giving you a headache anymore. But still, I mean, yeah. that's also why we call this uh, live stream today uh, VR survival. Because <laughs> if you're like Ja, like one hour in, in, in VR, yeah, not healthy, yeah. right? So, you know, I see similar comments coming in from people saying uh, VR gameplays always make them, uh, well, not nauseous, but give them headaches. Well, Eric already explained to you guys, the newer models, they might be the ones for you. I also actually, personally, I also noticed the difference when, between when I was uh, using the HTC 5 and the Valve Index. And with the Valve Index, I clearly had like less fatigue and restraint, well, fatigue and say headache slash nausea on long term. Because here everything was just simply clearer and the quality was much better and there's less motion. Um, so yeah, it makes sense if you try better models they will give you a better experience. 
And of course, with that also comes a higher price. So with everything in life, you know, you get what you pay for. <laughs> But this still differs per person, right? So don't take this as a rule of thumb. I mean, it's really personal. Some people have this, some people don't. But generally, better gear will give you a better experience. Um, yes, yes, Half-Life, we'll get that real quick. Uh, we're almost through. So uh, uh, besides the GPU over today's system, so since we're going to play everything on Ultra and with uh, Half-Life Index, we're going to make sure we have absolutely no problem with the gaming experience so that I don't have to puke after an hour without trying the next ninth. And Eric can put up a uh, specification card for you guys right now to uh, for you guys to see just exactly what kind of uh, configuration we have right now. No. No, okay. Um, well, we have uh, in this specific configuration, Eric's not feeling up to it, uh, we have the i7-9700K with... Uh, uh, 2080. One so, moment. So RTX 2080. And <clears throat> this specific model actually has multiple configurations. So if you're not satisfied with i7 9700K and 2080, you can go for i9 9900K and 2080 Ti. All of this in a small package because this is a small form factor uh, desktop. Uh, it's just maybe a tiny, tiny bit bigger than your regular consoles out there. And uh, well, with the size being so small, we can still pack up the full power of a regular size desktop. Uh, within this little uh, small form factor desktop, we can also uh, achieve a better heat dispersion system by applying our silent storm cooling. So this is really the, the everything you want package. And uh, with this Max system, Bunny is using what kind of cooling does it use? Uh, if someone is asking what kind of cooling it uses, well, yes. uh, for CPU we have the regular air cooling, but it is our custom-made fan and uh, well, CPU cooling. Uh, so you sh you're not going to find this on the market, but it is being air cooled. And as for the GPU, uh, it's just a regular full-size GPU, um, so still air cooling right there. So I hope that answers your question. But maybe more to your point, what's also very important is that with silence for cooling in our system, uh, you know, the, the, the biggest heat uh, producing units, the, the CPU, GPU, and the PSU, the power supply, they're all being separated into their own different chambers. So three chambers for each unit. Uh, so they will have their own uh, airflow in and out so that they don't uh, you know, disrupt each other's, well, make it even worse for the entire case to become very, very hot. So yeah, everything is being air-cooled. Uh, any other questions, if you have them, just post them in the chat. Uh, if not, I'm just going to continue. So, all right, Valve Index. Uh, I have it right here, so let me just pick it up. So here is the index. First of all, we really have to thank uh, our lovely colleague Peter because Peter actually joined our live stream two weeks ago uh, when we kicked off our VR live stream for the first time. He was our uh, VR expert and uh, enthusiast and he really did a good job at explaining stuff. And he was kind enough to lend us his expensive Don't break it because index. he's only... I'm treating this like my own baby because yes. I'm going to be liable if I break anything. He wants to finish Half-Life <laughs> Alex uh, this week, yeah. so he needs it. So yeah, here we have it. And what's really uh, standing out with uh, this is that they have a very, well, let's say, uniquely designed uh, controllers. And they have uh, finger registration technology. So here, uh, each finger movement is going to be registered. Uh, more of that a little bit later. But here we have, yeah, our valve index. Yeah, these are the index knuckle controllers. <clears throat> All right. So the valve index. A um, bit more information regarding this. Uh, well. The display is, uh, if you remember, the, uh, the HCC was. Uh, 1200 no 2100 around 2100 and this one um is really quite a big step up so within the industry this is already like quite a high resolution uh headset so here you have a dual 1440 uh by 1600 and so this gives you a total of 2880 by uh 1600 so you know in a way you can feel headsets like your gaming monitor so the more pixels, the, the higher uh, your resolution of your monitor, 
well, the more performance is going to require from your GPU. Yeah, so yeah, it's a little bit a, a pity because we are capturing everything in 1080p 60. <laughs> uh, and that mainly has to do with all the platforms like YouTube, uh, Twitch, there are some maxims. I mean, YouTube can do uh, 10, uh, 4K 60. Uh, but not higher than 60 uh, uh, FPS, so it's very difficult to, to show you this. Yeah. Capturing really has still a lot of limitations. <laughs> uh, so let's see. Ba Baltic Steel says, don't blame Jetshi. Exactly, because you know who else to blame? No, 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 no. Yes, he's sitting right there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, let's see. Any other question? Mm. Uh, all right, someone is saying uh, he is having trouble receiving the giveaway prize from last week. Uh, I will get right to that uh, after the live stream. So by tomorrow, you will definitely have an answer from me. No worries. I will, there. I will write down his name. Yeah, we will uh, take your information and don't worry. So, uh, all right, no questions for now. So let's continue. Uh, besides uh, the display, the refresh rate, I already mentioned this, it goes all the way up to 144 hertz, uh, but this is experimental. So natively, its max is 120 hertz. You also have the option to go back to 90 and 80 because it is backwards compatible. Uh, so very, very, very high refresh rate within the industry. One of the few that can achieve this kind of, uh, well, especially 144. So, the same case with the gaming monitor, the better the refresh rate, the smoother your experience, your gameplay is going to look, the faster and the sharper your images are when moving around. So you preferably would want to have a very high refresh uh, device. But again, if you want to achieve that kind of FPS, because the FPS has to match the refresh rate, otherwise, yeah, you defeat the point. Uh, so if you want to match this kind of refresh rate with FPS, it's going to require some power from your GPU, especially if the resolution count in this case is quite high. So yeah, you got to keep yeah. in mind. Benchmarking VR titles is still a challenge. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Mohamed saying uh, Half-Life 2 remake. Uh, well, no, no, no. Alex, if you, I'm, I suppose you're talking about Alex, if this is a Half-Life 2 remake. No, well, it's actually like uh, more like Half-Life 2.5. Yeah, it's it's a which means it's three will come as well. Yeah, it's definitely a new a new title. But the more interesting part is that even though it's it came out later than the previous Half-Life title, this is actually sort of a prequel to all the Half-Life titles out there. Because this is really when City 17, uh, how it was before it got to the City 17 that we knew in the Half-Life title series. Uh, so this is more like yeah, the prequel. Uh, any other questions? Let's see. Yeah, Warrior Ghosts. I think so. Okay, so one uh, is asking, each VR headset have different resolution depending on graphics card or just VR resolution itself. All right, so um, for everyone wondering about this, uh, let's just be very clear that the resolution uh, is going to be headset bound. So it's really bound to your glass inside your headset, bound with the lens. You should see this as a gaming monitor split in two, put into your helmet. So that's really has a headset bound. So it's not um, it, it, it's not related to your GPU. I think two weeks ago we did a, a extensive uh, live stream about that. So you can see the difference of about all the headsets pricing. Yeah, we compared. Yeah. Most we had of a them. we had a comparable uh, comparison table. <laughs> will will you guys bring out a VR headset? Uh, I'm not sure. I will call our headquarters tomorrow to ask them if no. there's any plan. But no. uh, <laughs> actually, uh, we, we, seriously, uh, we thought about it. I mean, uh, Microsoft has a, a, a what is it? AR headset, mixed reality headset. It's called now. We thought about it, but and this was like half year or one year ago when they uh, approached us. But we decided not to do it. But there are a lot of other ODMs which are doing that. But so far, no plans. <laughs> Yeah, so far, no plans. Uh, okay, uh, so Mohammed, I misunderstood your message. So apparently you meant if there's going to be a Half-Life 2 remake. To that question, I have no answer, honestly. So I'm not sure if they're going to remake that specific title. Who knows? We have to find out. Or just, you know, ring up Gabe and see uh, what he has in plan. Uh, all right, so continuing, uh, the valve index has a field of view of 130 degrees. This is actually already above average uh, from industry. If you're looking at the most popular models out there, they are 110 degrees. Um, yeah, tracking and uh, audio, 
uh, nothing spectacular there, just uh, the regular stuff. But the audio quality is really good, I must say, once I've tried it. I didn't notice that it was yeah, quite baffling. Uh, yeah, some pros and cons for you to consider right here if you are considering this uh, this device. And right now the price I could find would be in between like what seven hundred dollars and in between seven hundred dollars and I mean yeah seven hundred dollars and one thousand dollars. Yeah, but so I depending on what kind of region where you live. No, uh, I think also it depends if you get the full package or not. Yeah, so it depends on a lot of things, but generally it's in this kind of range. Let's say completely it's one k. Yeah, so. US dollar. If you're interested, you know, do a little bit of homework on your own and see if it's a good fit for you. <sighs> okay, so I think it is time. Maybe first do a giveaway. If you say so, Eric. Yeah. Then let's go this is the do first a winner. giveaway. So we have the first winner. The first winner of today's giveaway is Opic. So Opic. Congratulations. I hope you enjoyed the twenty dollars Steam wallet code and if you get something nice with it. And. Uh, if you just joined and you haven't, um, let me just put this away first, and you haven't uh, participated yet, just go to msi.com slash two slash insider and perform a few actions right there and you'll be in the pool of drawings. So uh, if you have already participated and you didn't win, don't worry because we're going to have more uh, drawings so you might still be one of the next winners. Uh, Alright guys, so congratulate um, not congratulations, but I want to say good luck, and uh, I'm going to play Half-Life Alex right now. Let me just put on the headset. So, what you really like notice right away when you use uh, the half, well, the, 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 oh, I just pulled a hair there, ah, <laughs> alright, <laughs> when you use uh, Index is that, it's not really one of the lightest headsets out there, but actually I didn't mind a bit because the weight distribution on this headset was really good. And the headband, the strip that they're using right here, uh, you can tighten it from the behind and you can loosen it and there's still like room for you to play so you can you know, take it off and use it right away. So it's really convenient. The design, the ergonomics uh, is really good. Let's just return to game, please. Can okay, maybe show the settings as well? Yeah, uh, let me just return to game first. All right, so I pause the game for now. You yeah, have yellow hands. <clears throat> uh, one little thing is that I think this is like really the, the details, but I really liked it. Uh, first of all, as you can see, you know, you can point and click, right? But what I did know is that I found out by accident, you can actually use your finger and click it. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's something small, but it really does make it quite interesting because they thought about it. So let's go to the settings for now and show you guys uh, what I meant earlier with uh, that this game is really like a AAA full-length uh, game. Can you move your head a little bit slowly because I'm I'll getting Yeah, I'll try Eric, but it's really difficult because it, it's like in your nature to move normally. But sorry guys, if I'm making you nauseous, uh, I'll try to slowly move around, all right? So let's go to settings. Um, let's go up. Preferences. Can you check spec the spectator? Yeah. You need to scroll down, yeah. Spectator. Okay, yeah, this is okay. Yeah. All good? Yeah, all good. Maybe go to graphical settings. So here with performance, you see right now we're playing on ultra fidelity. So everything is maxed out. And Let's open this up and I'll show you what I meant with this is like just your regular game. Here you have all the settings for you to tune individually. So if your uh, well, gaming desktop is not up to par to handle ultra, ultra fidelity and giving you 120 uh, FPS minimum. Because then you will have the optimal use of this headset. And uh, just tune your settings here for texture. Hey, you can lower this shadow. You have four different options to choose from, all the way up to ultra. So you have a lot of flexibility here to uh, play around to see whatever makes your game uh, run the smoothest. And this is really not what you see with the other regular light. 
uh, light VR games out there because yes, yeah, sometimes they can come with um, say some yeah options, but it was simply just say a low quality, normal quality, and yeah, and that's it. But yeah. you, you you really cannot uh, talk with your head. Uh, yeah, right, right. <laughs> You're um, really moving always. All right, so yeah, so that's for performance, uh, everything that you can tune up with visuals. And yeah, let's play. Other things, well, just one more thing that's, um, let me, where was it? Interface, yeah. Aim this, assist or what? I wish. <laughs> <laughs> that would really be handy with the head crabs, but uh, this is really interesting. This gives you like three modes as to how you want to move around the world. I'm right now using regular walking around. Uh, you have to turn your head to yeah, see around, but you can also, instead of walking, you can skip. So you can teleport from one point to another, and you have the choice between, uh, wait, not this one, but... Uh, where was it? Where was it? Where was it? Uh, interface. No, no, no. I think it was preferences. Yeah, here. So here, uh, movement continuous. Uh, you can have movement right hand, blah, blah, move. Blink. <clears throat> so teleport to destination with a brief screen fade. The most comfortable uh, movement type. So this game you can really play sitting, uh, sitting down or standing up or running around, whatever you prefer. And you still have all the options that you can... Uh, Go for whatever you think uh, works for you. So let me just put it back to continuous again because this is what I like the most. All right, I just this is my handgun. This is actually not something that you start with. Uh, I upgraded this, so hell yeah for me. <laughs> <clears throat> and I have another one that I just picked up, which is the shotgun. And I see that it's empty, and I still haven't figured out because I just got to use how to reload this. Um, let's see. How to reload this. Ah, okay. No, I have to open this up. I know that, but how to open it up? They show you left, left hand because there's some displays on it. Last two shells. So yeah, whenever you see me do this, it's because I'm grabbing something from the backpack, usually bullets. Uh, ah, right, got it. Last two. I'm out. All right, I'm set up. <sighs> I already went that way, I believe. Uh, no, I went this way, so it's time to go that way. It's quite dark in here, but uh, I have no choice right now because I'm in a tunnel. And yes, this reminds you of the gravity gun from Half-Life, right? So like I said, you know, this is like a prequel to Half-Life. So this was before they invented uh, the gravity gun. So they had like gravity gloves, which is what you see here. Uh, quite an interesting uh, concept. This is not as strong as the gravity gun. So, you know, they really thought about it. It makes sense because this was the pre-model. So yeah, but it works. You can really feel like a Jedi when you walk around and you really do have to physically do everything. So uh, this is not what I wanted to grab. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's really immersive, especially when you're using this kind of headset, when everything is just so crystal clear because of the high resolution and high refresh rate. Just picked up some ammo, which is great. So, uh, what else is in here? Ah. To be clear, you're, you're putting everything in your backpack, right? I'm, yeah, as you can see, I'm not high on health, only one and a half bars. So this is like a health injector. <laughs> Run button. Ah, that hurt. All right. Uh, did I miss anything else in here? You know, the thing with this game is that you have to scavenge for ammunition and, uh, yeah. I saw something saw. blinking. The injectors. So, if you are like a scavenger, you're going to love this. And if you really want to skip everything well, then it's going to be your loss, I guess. Yeah, smells bad. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't think I missed everything. anything here. So let's continue. Uh, oh shit, I need to grab my gun. Don't say no, that. No, that's not gun. No, 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 no. 
really? Bad boy. <laughs> All right. Sorry, had a little panic, but uh, nothing in here. Nope. Ah, Peter is also in the chat on YouTube. Who is? Peter. Oh. He, Hi. He's, he's checking if you damage his, his Hi, Peter. index headset. Really? You took me four bullets. One left. Apparently they can throw. I didn't know that. So you don't have unlimited bullets, right? Uh, there's one right here. Oh, Jack. Yeah. Really? You're still alive? <laughs> the other one as well. Yeah, how about now? All right, I'm out of handgun ammunition. Is there something that I can find? Uh, I guess not here, so, all right. Poor guy. Let's, let's help you. Yes, usually they have like uh, a ammunition uh, magazine right here in their pockets, but apparently not you, so yeah. Let's continue. Um, I can go there, but I want to explore this first. What's that? Ah, I see a raisin right there. So this is what we use eventually to upgrade our guns. So whenever you see this, always a story in your backpack. I do not want to enter here, but um, nah, let's go. Okay, nothing interesting. Ah, look. That's what we're talking about. Magazine. But that's a magazine on that guy. Last one. Mm, okay. Now let's go back. So now you're using the other type of movement? Yep. So this is like teleport. There's only a, there's a limitation as to how far you can go mm -hmm. once. So this is as far as I can go. Hello. What's in here? Yes. What's this? Cigarettes. Tabacos. No, that kills. Don't do that, kids. Give it to the creatures. Time to use my... Uh, I actually designed this myself. Hey, give me some credits. A big part of this game is actually about solving puzzles. So right now I'm like in chapter two, so everything is still kind of easy. And right now I have to solve this puzzle in order to open this machine and Sometimes you also have to, a lot of the time, you have to solve puzzles in order to get through to the next um, part of the game. And here I'm supposed to line up all the lines with, uh, well, the little round stuff and release and you got it. And he will open. So I can upgrade my gun again. Uh, let's try if I can upgrade this. Oh, I can, yeah. <clears throat> Lay 
laser sights. Do I want that? Nah. No! Um, you don't have enough credits. I only have 13. Okay, never mind. All right. Uh, no upgrade, I guess. So let's see if there's still anything here to be looted. Ah, nice. Magazine. No, come back. That doesn't work, right? <laughs> no. Nope. Only ammo. Ooh. So interactive, like, <laughs> like they thought about like the littlest things. This looks uh, really creepy. Everything looks creepy. Oh, nice. So this is what you heal with at, at a machine, and I guess I already have one. So you can only take like one at the same time. And if you look at this, it's so creepy. Look at it. What's in here? What's it? A bug? It's yeah. It's like a alien bug. <laughs> so when <laughs> you use this in a machine, the machine will squeeze this bug to like this far, and you become like all mushy and stuff. And the machine will then inject everything in your hands to heal you. I mean, how dirty is that? <laughs> but it's awesome. Because why not? Hey, you you don't need it. No, because I already have one. Oh, okay. And you can only bring one at the same time. Oh, well, yep, another one. Mm, <clears throat> Let's see. I guess, yeah, that's it. So I'm lazy now, so I don't want to walk, and I'm going to teleport here. <clears throat> I need my hand. So it looks more like a workout. Yeah, believe me, when you've been moving around, squatting and, sh and stuff like that, it's gonna feel like a workout. <laughs> no doubt. Um, I am not lost. Ah, oh, shit. You have a lot of swear words today, yeah? Not good. So you're scared. Ew! Ha! Always love to see this. Oh, come back. Really? <laughs> come on. So I, I think like the biggest advantage of this gravity uh, globe is that you don't always have to duck to do anything that's like too low for you to grab or whatever. So yeah, if you There's really want to go hardcore, just don't use this and you can squat every time you see something that's low. There's also something uh, yeah, over there. I'm helping you to survive. And you can yeah, do a lot of stuff, as you can see. Off you go. No explosion. All right. I guess I'm supposed to go through here. Uh, maybe not. I'm missing something. Already stuck at level zero. What am I missing for now? I'm not stuck. Just need some more time. Maybe he has something that I can use. I'm not intentionally grabbing his butt. I'm just trying no, to uh, yeah. move him. Don't worry. Doesn't look like that at all. Come on. <laughs> you have something for me? Nope. He doesn't. Tell me what I have to do. 
maybe I missed something downstairs. Uh, but usually it just means a dead end because whenever I see this kind of door, it means you can't continue. So I gotta go some other way. Oh, I think I know. I need to walk back. Whoop. It looks dumb, but that actually felt really real. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I'm supposed to do. Oh, another one. <laughs> Teleport over the ledge again. They want you dead. Too dark. You'll need a flashlight. You have a flashlight? I think you're right. I think he's about to tell me if I have a flashlight. <laughs> no, in, in, not yet, not yet. In your other hand, I mean, you have a gun? No, I don't have a flashlight yet. But I think I'm about to find one. Well, fresh enemies. There you go. You should have waited. I... Oh yeah, there's something else here. No, nothing. All right, let's go. Nothing to pick up here, no, nothing. Nope, nothing. <clears throat> you can really almost just do anything. Now you can also hear you're like slapping against this. So much detail. Um, okay, continue. I hear something here, but am I supposed to? And I'm not sure. Three bullets. What about the other one? Okay, gotta reload. So three only. I like the reloading. The sound, like, can you guys hear it? The sound is so good, and it and the visuals just really wow. The gun looks a bit weird, but hey, it's Half Life, so <clears throat> nothing wrong with that. Personal taste. Ah, come on! I wasted another bullet on this. I don't want to touch it, but I have to. Ah, nothing happened. <clears throat> Usually this is where my electrical stuff comes in. Yeah, all right. So this is like another one of those puzzle uh, solving elements. So you have to use this electrical scanner thing to see all the electrical wires uh, like behind a wall. And you have to see whatever lines you have to connect in order to, for example, here say, Disable this plasma door. So here seems like we need to turn. Yeah. All right. See, let's shut off the power. Let's go. Uh, can I play the game on an MSI laptop? Uh, Marus is asking on uh, yeah, the YouTube. Depends yeah, depends on which laptop, right? Sorry. <clears throat> depends on how old the laptop is. Well, how new? You, you need to have the right specs. So with a 1060 mobile, 1070 mobile, uh, you are able to play this. And depending on the VR headset, you need to have either a um, HDMI or a DisplayPort uh, available. 
But yes, you can. What about the FPS? That's a good question. Do you have a possibility to show FPS, Ja? <coughs> uh, I don't believe I saw this uh, in-game, but let me look again. Uh, go to interface, weapons, weapon select, no. pause, menu, distance, pause. Yeah, no, that's it. Uh, interface, uh, anything else that might be relevant, accessibility, don't think so, but... No. Uh, nothing here. Spectator. Performance, maybe, something? So texture, shadow, character, no, fog, no. flickering. No. No, 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 no. Back. Back. We so see. maybe it's in uh, Sorry. Uh, Steam. Which one is best, HDMI or DisplayPort? Um, well, for this one, definitely DisplayPort. Well, you mean for the index, yes. Yeah, because for the index. It only has in the, uh, DisplayPort. Uh, uh, actually, I don't think there's a difference uh, depending on which version you, you use. It most of the times uses, of uh, depends on uh, what device you have. If you have an HDMI device, you connect it to HDMI. Display uh, port, you connect to display port. Uh, there are technical differences, uh, but this really like HDMI 2.0 is the same, of, uh, has a lot of uh, similar functions to the latest display port version. FPS, uh, you can enable it in the Steam VR uh, menu. I will have a check, Ja, mm -hmm. if I can do that. Um, but I don't want to destroy uh, the stream too much, so I think... Uh, um, yeah, display setting. Let's go. Ah. Already. <laughs> Almost an entire magazine just for one little head crap. Do you see the performance oh, now? Yes, yes, I see. But so I think they should see it too. Well, I'm going to check, but if is this the... No, they don't see. It's only in the VR headset. Let me see what he's saying. Steam menu. Ooh. It is dark. <coughs> so Edwin, uh, we're running everything on uh, Ultra. Of course, come on, what, what kind of question is that? Only like like um, like Counter Strike. And guys, if anyone can tell me if I actually have a flashlight, that'll be great. So yeah, I'm going to search for the FPS settings because I couldn't find it. Can you turn this one off for now? It's like in the middle of my uh, <laughs> <laughs> of my view. <laughs> Thank you. All right, seems like we found another ah shell box for my shotgun. Nice. Left. A lot of options I would like to play with. Ah, oh, never mind, never mind. Like I said, I was about to find the flashlight. I was right. It's right there. I should have more faith in myself sometimes, right? Missed it again. Look at the details. I mean, look at this box. It has scratches on top of it. Like, genuine scratches. <laughs> That's amazing. But, <laughs> you yeah. damaged it, probably. Shh. <laughs> Don't blame me, man. I'm just trying to figure out this game. Got it, flashlight, attach flashlight to gravity glove. All right, how the hell am I supposed, oh, okay, I see, I see. Oh, thank God. Woohoo! Yeah.
No, I cannot find the FPS. Well, I can display it in your headset, but not on the captured uh, area. Oh, that's a crap. What's he doing here? <laughs> Bert is saying <laughs> one guy is waiting um, in Warzone. Bert and Wonka. <coughs> Ah, sure. If I uh, if I can find you, I can play one with you, Wonka. I'm uh, ready. All the bullets again. Really? Why aren't you playing on 144 hertz? Well, uh, we connected this uh, index this morning, and when we oh, this uh, is actually a different one, guys. Look at this. It has hair. Wow, it's like the unshaved version. It's e evolving. Yeah, and I think he had a little bit of a tan. So, uh, yeah, somewhere he saw the sun. Look at the details on the hair, man. Look at this. Uh, I can't touch it, I thought I could. Can't touch this. Oh, your flashlight? Yeah, found it. No, no, I mean your flashlight and the hair. It casts shadows. Oh, yes. Wow. Imagine this being RTX on. Yeah. So, does this ugly fella look any different than the other Can't ones? you actually smack them to death with your pistol? <laughs> I haven't tried it yet, so uh, I'll make sure scared. to try it the next time I yeah, can never get used to this. Sharp teeth. You need to go to the dentist. All right. Uh, okay, how am I supposed to get in here? So back to the 144, why we're not playing 144. Uh, well, this morning we connected it, it said uh, 120, so we adjusted to, adjusted to that. And actually for capturing it doesn't matter. I mean, we capture everything in 1080p, yeah, uh, you guys will never 60 see FPS. It. So, Ja, actually your experience can get even better than this. Yeah, yeah. But this is already very good compared to the 5, right? If I compare this to 5, I would say that it's like a world of difference. Yeah. The clarity, the smoothness, but especially just how sharper everything is. Yeah. It's just much more real. And the, the reality of this is that you need this kind of immersion in order to, yeah, to fully embrace these kind of titles. A VR game, it has <laughs> to be realistic. Somebody wants the crap on your head. Sure, why not? I mean, it looks so friendly and so sweet and so not disgusting. Uh, I think this guy is really heavy. I can't even put it up. It, okay, it does really resemble a crab. Yeah. No. No. Uh, it's too heavy. Yeah. Okay, guys, uh, I gotta figure out how can I you can rip his legs get off? through. You guys are really sadistic. <laughs> no, that's a personal <laughs> question. That's not oh, from the chat. All right, then, <laughs> yes, you are very sadistic, Eric. No, I can't. <laughs> Maybe I'm I'm just too weak to do it. I mean, yeah, who knows? I mean, yeah, I, sorry, sorry, guys. Uh, the the mouse cursor, yeah, it's gone. <sighs> oh wait, I remember there was a very dark area before. I think I have to go back there. You should try to get a laser pointer on your pistol. This is fine. Uh, I might if I have enough uh, of the raisins or raisins or I forgot how to call it. It's really dark. Russ? Yeah. Can you hey, just? Yeah, I'm going to do a giveaway. I mean, about what? you like this Could game too much. Literally anything. Well, I think that given our situation, your irrational fear of the dark is actually quite appropriate. You know, I mean, even the voice acting in this game is quite phenomenal. Okay, that was the fault. subtle jokes they have, yeah, like the, the genuine, yeah, the genuine voice. It's yeah, it's it's really quite soothing to listen to. Uh, yeah, you need a break. I, uh, oh, I can't use a break, yeah. Yeah, well, so then maybe you can read... Um... Yeah, all right, let, let me just put this on a break, and I feel like we're about to do a giveaway. Or is it just me? Yeah, it's and on the screen already. In the meantime, I am also going to grab a glass of drink. Whew. All right, so let's see who is the next winner of today's giveaway. Ma Maris. Maris. 
Most. Yeah, you had some questions in the in the chat as well. All right, so congratulations, man. Hope you enjoyed the twenty dollars Steam Wallet Code giveaway, and uh, you know, get something nice. And any one of you who hasn't won yet, uh, don't worry. I keep saying this, but if you just joined or if you're new to this, you're still in the winning pool if you have already participated. So don't worry. And if you haven't participated yet, just go to the link right there at amazonite.com slash two slash insider. And uh, if, well, that doesn't work, there's also a direct link for you that will be spammed in the chat every six minutes or so. So you can also visit that. And the more actions you perform, the more chance you will have, uh, have at winning one of the codes. So congratulations, uh, Marus, and good luck to the rest of you guys. Um, any question that's here for now? Uh, all right, nothing for now. <clears throat> I'm just gonna grab a quick drink. <sighs> all right, need more? I'm back. I'm good for now. Okay. <clears throat> so, anything else? Uh, I guess not for now. No, no, no. Nope. You can't uh, can go back in the game. It's a, the ultimate VR survival <laughs> test. Yeah, I, I guess it, was a, it wasn't even allowed for me to grab water. It that's, is that's, allowed. That's like cheating, right? It is allowed, but just not too much. So yeah, like I said before, you can still like stretch it. So yeah, the, the comfortness on this thing is just top notch. Oh, look, there are my hands. Let me grab my hands. See, I, and I keep like pointing out this that what you, you know don't see with the others is, as you can see here, it's really you, you know, need to watch a little bit, and uh, maybe this more clear. Yeah. Yeah, it registers every finger. I mean, yeah, you can argue that uh, most of the games, even like in this game, there isn't really like a great application of this function. But hey, it's there. So <clears throat> now the Sky game developers. is asking, how would you rate this game from one to ten? Good question. I would rate this game at a solid eight and a half. Okay, well that's high. You want to quit? No. Resume. Let's go out. Resume. Oh. Thanks. Hey Ja, I'm going to get a drink. <laughs> I, will be, I will be back later. Well, you, lucky you. You need something? Uh, I'm good. Yeah, maybe just some water. That'd be great. Yeah, okay. I will fix that for you. Uh, all right, one injection. Yeah, I guess I can use it. I'm missing one third of health. <laughs> all right, where are we going to go now? I'm gonna guess there. I don't want to. I know I have to like shoot it, but I don't want to shoot it because I hate wasting bullets. So if I can just break it by smacking it, that would be great. Oh, hello. <laughs> I think I glitched it. Uh, shit. Maybe it'll still work if I shoot it. Oh, it did. How nice of you, Eric. Thank you. Uh, right, uh, you know what time it is. Look for where the power is going. Oh, that was easy. What about this one? Oh, no, I'm back at where, I'm, where I started. What? Yeah, I just, uh, I just came from here, guys. What am I missing? Why did I get back here? Am I supposed not supposed to go somewhere else? Mm, nope. <laughs> Definitely not gonna fit through there. Um, it's not movable either. Oh, hey. Look at this. Nice. Uh, what? Let's figure out what I'm supposed to do here. If it's even here that I have to be. 
I mean, I just came from here. Um, Yeah, it is, is the way that I'm supposed to go. But why am I? Okay, perhaps something is gonna happen once I get back to where I started. You stuck again? Uh, somebody saying you have to be there. Uh, you need to open another portal and then go back via the other side. The other side, as in this side? I don't know. If it's um, this side, just say yes in capital letters, okay? Capital no, letters. No, he says no. All right, that's clear. <laughs> The other side, then I suppose it's the other side, as in there. Yes, yes, yes. He already played this game last night. A new enemy, that's a good sign. Now, always a good sign. Which means I'm heading into the correct way. I just don't remember missing anything here. Oh yeah, I have to try smashing him to death, right? Yes, yes. Please. All right, try. Come on, come on, come on. No, that's a no. Only with your hand? No, 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 no. I mean, three legs left. Put your gun away. Okay, yeah, you want me to like box this, them like this? All right, sure, sure. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Where are you? AD Audio Hub. Uh, we're doing lucky draws. Ah, and? that's that's a no. <laughs> okay. Oh, good try. Uh, with your aim, I think you will run out of bullets. Wow, I feel insulted. I mean, it's not okay. Count strike. This is a good. Ow. Last man. Sure, all right. Maybe I'm supposed to... Qu you almost shot yourself in your head. Is that even possible? Like, should I? Nah. No, don't try. Oh, we did that. No. Can I? No, I don't think I can connect. No, we, we were saying you need to go to the other side, uh, use a portal. Ah, oh, I all think right, I need to go this really side. Need to talk again. I haven't That's been here yet. Um, before. What was Whoa. the line before okay. the combine? Ah, excellent. Alex, have you ever heard of a club? Your left hand. Uh, nope, not once. Ah. Maybe right. you can carry two. To make a club sandwich, you need to start with bread. Not from a bread line, from a bakery across the street. Baked that day, okay? You add tomatoes. Yeah, not he's giving thumbs up, Jack. Fresh. Then you add bacon. That's from an animal we You will finish chicken. chapter one you tonight. And you put all no, this is not chapter one. Hour. This is chapter two, oh, Eric. Okay. Already, okay, cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. It is, and I'm not done. Then you add a second sandwich on top of the first one. You put ham in it, also from a pig, and turkey from an animal we used to call the turkey. And more tomato, more lettuce, and a bunch of other things I'm forgetting. It was Whoa, six scary. inches tall and weighed a pound, and had a dozen ingredients from five different continents. It was the most impossible food item you could imagine in any age before that. Okay. Wow. We will know, blow him right? up, because why not? That is... Wow. Do have it? Oh, no. You're welcome, Alex. Where'd it go? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Did you shoot it? Yep. No need to, right? Yep. Skull. <sighs> okay, that was really satisfying. 
Okay. Uh, do I need to heal What up? is that? Health station? Yeah. So here I insert this creepy bug filled jar. And what's next? The next thing is it's going to inject his juice into my hands. Yes, exactly like I said. Do you light it with your flashlight or not? Yes, no, okay. uh, I'm going to use this hand instead so you can see. Look at this. It's being all squeezed up and I uh, get injected with its juice. Ja, watch out for the monsters. Gulag will come. <laughs> we will welcome you. Sorry. I'm not afraid. I like the game. I played it a lot this week. Especially because your tip for the free battle pass. Yeah, what level are you? Uh, 86 something. Nice. <laughs> Especially you, you once, are... Warzone, you level up quite fast. You surprised, surprised me by quite a bit. Uh, I didn't play a lot of Battlefield this week. So maybe you don't sleep tonight. And it's not because you're playing, because you played. I, I wouldn't be surprised if I oh. got a visit from them in my dream today. Try to shoot him. <laughs> much better, much better. Uh, do you have any magazines for me, please? Thank you. No? W what if they made Counter-Strike like this, Ja? Uh, I would probably be like very ripped in three weeks. Six packs and all. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, the VR market is still very small compared to the normal PC market. And they had the IP, you know, they had the, uh, the, the Half-Life, uh, they owned it. And they developed the index. So everything comes together. But I think it's not easy to make this game non-VR as well, because a lot of elements are made for VR especially, yeah. right? <clears throat> Very true, and uh, the physics in this game is, uh, you really have to experience the physics in this game. Uh, how everything just comes together when you apply VR, this just, yeah, it, it makes total sense. Ah, here, all right, all right, all right, I thought I was lost again. But I can use some light though, because this is really frustrating. No, I know, I just want a magazine. Thank you. Some glass broke. I'm not alone. Okay. What is an MSI Insider? Well, good question. Check it out. Whew. How many, uh, one bullet's left. Any Warzone streams soon? Uh, well, it's very difficult uh, for us to say because uh, normally we do we talk a lot about product launches um, and new products but now with the coronavirus and the shutdown in a lot of countries uh, lockdown even in some um, uh, some uh, product launches are postponed <coughs> probably you also saw that uh, um, the Computex event is postponed um, but yeah in, in a couple of weeks there will be again new product launches and yeah, we always try to show you some new products uh, and then also try to do some new games. Yeah, next week also. <coughs> next week? Doom, right? Uh, yep, Doom Eternal. Oh, Doom Eternal, yeah. That's also Because a only game Doom engine. is eternal. Is that what the internet says? Oh, I see there's one more magazine here. Thank you. Oh. Sure. Jeremy, you have our email address? Well, we don't have any positions right now. But yeah, always looking for qualified people. Who can play games? No. We know about hardware. 
Okay, this you can also break. Yeah, <clears throat> this is uh, going to use. This is going to require my brute strength. <laughs> LT Smash. The giveaway is a twenty-dollar Steam voucher, and we do a lucky draw. Maybe it's a good moment to do a lucky draw again, Ja. Sure. After I uh, olympically throw away this uh, piece of wood. I need to make sure Ja gets enough rest, otherwise he will uh, die in VR. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, it's quite exhausting, right? It, it is really exhausting. I mean, uh, it's kind of weird because it feels like it's more mental than physical. But yet, when these two combine, I feel like I'm exhausted physically. <sighs> and I didn't even go out out with uh, squatting. Well, maybe we can do next chapter, next round. Yeah, uh, okay, sure. Let's see who the next winner is for now. Sarge, or Zarge. Sarge, I guess. Congratulations. <clears throat> Hope you get something nice with the $20 Steam wallet code. And anyone else, there's still a chance to not worry. It's not over yet, so keep on hoping. And if you haven't participated yet, if you just joined, go to msi.com slash two slash insider and perform a few actions. The more you do, the more chances you have at winning one of the Steam wallet codes. So good, uh, good luck, guys. Uh, sadly to say, my break is over. Uh, I'm going to show somebody is asking for the green screen again. <clears throat> what green screen? Everything's real here. Yeah, <laughs> let, let me show. Whoa! <laughs> did I just did I just teleport? Yeah. So yeah, Moses fake. Except Ja, he's real. But are you sure though that I'm real? Yeah. Not in VR. So yeah, like I expected with the Triton X, we have zero problem with uh, this game. It's as smooth as it can get. Uh, FPS is really keeping up because you can feel it. But that doesn't solve my problem of... Ah, oh, okay, okay. Um, I thought this one was live. Edwin K is asking, are MSI factories running at full capacity in China or is distribution now the problem? Um, well, the factories are open again. Uh, they're not yet running at full capacity because we always depend on the supply chain. Yay. I mean, we are more like... A is this a crash? No, uh, this is like I'm moving towards uh, the okay, next part okay, okay, in the game. Yeah. I pick you up if you crash. Uh, so, um, uh, we depend on a lot of uh, small parts like capacitors, uh, sockets, etc. And uh, uh, heat sinks, for example, uh, the, 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 the retail box, everything needs to come from other suppliers. And there are still a lot of gaps in that supply chain. So. Yes, production is up uh, and running, uh, but not 100%. Um, and yeah, it's uh, as you can see or read on the internet or in the news, China is, is starting up again, um, as well as in the, the Wuhan region. But yeah, uh, th this takes time. And then the next uh, problem will be transport, because uh, there's so much in backlog, let's say like that. Uh, the uh, pricing went up quite a lot. Uh, prices uh, and by boat it will take uh, like five weeks to Europe or to the US and um, by air one week uh, but by air is like uh, much more expensive so um, yeah and then demand I mean uh, demand also now yeah I mean I a lot of people need to stay in inside so of course monitors Jesus. a lot of people need a monitor Come mouse on, keyboard um, but yeah, not sure about new PCs, okay. platforms, etc. Doesn't want to work. But anyway, a lot of people game, so that's where we can help. Maybe we all live in the Matrix. Uh, are you using OBS? Yes. Uh, no, well, yeah, we're uh, using Streamlabs OBS to um, to broadcast this, and we're using OBS to capture the VR stream. Wait, is that a dead combine soldier? Yeah. Ja, is the headset heavy on your head? <coughs> what? So, That's a yes. Is the headset, the VR headset, the index, is it heavy on your head? 
what? Ja, can you hear me? Ah, uh, yeah, sorry, well, what did you say? <laughs> so, is the VR headset heavy on your head? Oh, no, not at all. Not at all. No, maybe I can I can imagine that if you have played like five hours, that yeah, okay. yeah you're gonna feel it. But now I I barely notice that it's on my <laughs> like head. Gla like wearing glasses, you should say. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Well, I think you're gonna have a bad time. But uh, no, I think they have like a different cup uh, to insert, if in case you have a glass or in case you have glasses. So I th they thought about it. Yeah. <clears throat> I think he knew that Corona was up. Look at this guy. Well protected. Oh yeah. Can't, but I can't oh, steal oh, anything. What are the hand grenades? Or what is that? I'm not sure. It looks like oh. uh, empty holders of something. Okay. Uh, look at the detail, the textures. Really nice. Well, you know what would be cool if you could take his, his mask off and put it on your head. Yeah, like a skin. I try, but that you collect. Yeah. This is the way how you collect skins in a game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or just like undress him. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, don't go that far. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. Yeah, gotta get down there, I guess. You gotta get down. You gotta get down, and then what? But and my flashlight stopped working, so that's annoying. If you double the green screen filter, you can get rid of the green light around him. Okay, we'll check that. I mean, uh, light is still an issue in our studio. Uh, so we need more light. Uh, that will help. And yeah, uh, OBS Streamlabs, or Streamlabs OBS, as you say, has its limitations. We used to uh, use, um, what is it? XSplit. Yeah, that had a lot of more advanced settings. But also, it was a, um, a very difficult program to use because Control Z, for example, undo, wasn't working. So oh, always fighting with layers, etc. Streamlabs OBS is much more useful. I think I was supposed to kill it. Not sure. I heard someone say watch the out. So filter. Okay, going to check that. Is this new Half-Life going to be on GeForce now? Well, interesting question. Uh, I don't know. Um, and theoretically, I mean, I, I didn't look into details, but I guess that you can also play VR games via GeForce now. Why not? I mean, it's just some image which comes in. But I have to say, if you want to, if this is possible, the lag will kill the uh, VR experience because what you don't want is lag. Uh, otherwise, you get um, motion sickness. <clears throat> what does it say? Caution. Contaminated. Can I have a free PC? My PC is brick. It can't run Roblox. Well, Roblox runs okay. already on so your i on your right tablet or on your phone. So on on I would say don't need a PC I'd for that. Right I like Roblox. Good old get worse. What would you rate it before the conflict showed up? Oh, that's a toughie. I don't know. Uh, good day. I'd say six. Yeah, strong six. Six? That's not great. Well, that's life, Alex. You know, it's not always great. Ah, uh, I always like to see this. You can shoot for like an eight, you know? Oh, an eight. Yeah, that really would be nice. Really nice. Oh, ha! Ah, I didn't know I can do this. Oh, <laughs> looks <laughs> nice. It's like uh, the, the, the fact that they thought about this. Chap chapter 12, Ja discovers a new thing to reload this game. Yeah, usually you have to use your hand, but you can just. Wow, okay. Awesome. <laughs> uh, okay, time for my electrical genius. Another puzzle I have to solve, I guess. I really like GeForce now. LT Smash. Okay, I'm supposed to what? Connect all the dots. Somebody is called MZI fanboy. Must be a real fan.
Is this like another puzzle jar? Yeah. <coughs> That's it? Or do I have to do more? Uh, I just have to guess which one goes to where. Okay. Sure. Ta da! Clap your hands. This doesn't look pro. Or, or whatever. Uh, do I need to heal up? Uh, no, I can't. So, continue. It's just awesome that you can open the doors like this. Just grab it and open. Ah, look. That's why you always scavenge. Okay, what else am I supposed to scavenge here? Yes, I'll take this. Let's see. Something interesting in here. No. <clears throat> nope. What's this? I do not speak Ruski. Oh, seems like Russia is involved. Magazine, nice. It would be nice if you can go to a website. <laughs> <laughs> I saw in Doom Eternal you can play, I think, Doom 2 or something, or another Doom. Or maybe the original Doom. Okay, nothing to be found here. Sorry, no, uh, currently we don't have any plans to produce uh, VR headsets. Not yet. Why do they always like to hang people upside down? I think these are the monsters, they, you know, the, the ones... <laughs> Too heavy. Yeah. Okay, time to get my guns out. Nice. <laughs> wow. It's, yeah, it's... Yeah, even the hand. <laughs> okay. Like, can, can can they lift you up? If yeah, you yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> can you uh, find it? I, I don't want to go through that again. Why not? I didn't see that yet, did I? Uh, okay, what do you think, chat? Should I sacrifice myself Everybody for Eric's pleasure? Yes. Everybody's saying yes. Do it. Okay. Here comes nothing! Yeah. Uh, uh. Oh shit, out of bullets. I died. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, some people said sacrifice, yes. Wow, okay. Feed it. He was not even worthy. Okay, so next time when you demo this, uh, please uh, first reload. Yes, that's a good one. Well, if I knew I was going to do that in the first place, I, I, I knew, I did know. <laughs> uh, yeah, Are there any bullet. VR games uh, that have ray tracing yet? No, I don't think so. No, not that I know of. Wait. Yeah, this the other. Really, I have to do everything Wait, is that a again. But first of all, you have VR, which is uh, pretty demanding, uh, depending on what headset you have and what game you're playing. And then if you add the RTX, uh, so ray tracing, uh, it will. Yeah, you need an even faster VJ card, and that also means 
the number of consumers who can use it. It's um, yeah, whoa, it's small. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, yeah, I forgot about that one. Okay, so right now, what it's like to live on Earth on a scale of one to ten? I'd say right at two. Yep, could always get worse. What would you rate it before the combine showed up? You're gonna oh, stick in ah. Uh, good day. Uh, ah. Yeah, oh, okay, okay. Six. That's not great. So I can help you if I if I make a screenshot, Ja. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, nice. Yeah, that really would be nice. Push the other one out here. Somebody is saying it's a checkpoint far. Not sure. <clears throat> Not just checkpoints. Uh, they're pretty close to each other. Okay. He wants you to die again. <laughs> yeah, I see what he hey, did hey, there. Can you already upgrade? Because somebody said you need to get a laser on your... Uh, yeah, I, I need to get to I the... I think uh, they noticed your aim is a little bit off. <laughs> 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 no, I need to be a little bit patient because I need to get to the upgrade station first. Something was here, I remember. Yeah, cool. Yeah. It's really everywhere. Okay, get out of here. Really, you have to walk. Don't touch that. <coughs> Since you like things so much, here, take this. Oh, he doesn't want it. No tires. That's what I liked about uh, Half-Life, I mean, uh, the original ones. Um, you knew they were there, but sooner or later, I mean, you can avoid them, but sooner or later one would, would pick you up. Yeah. And it's scary. <laughs> it's like, you, you know it's gonna happen, but you still get scared. Yeah. Like, it's like, it's like a jump scare. Uh, hey, there was something. Uh, it was just, just an empty uh, bottle, beer can. Mm. What can I find here? Usually there's something to be found. Can I open this up? No, okay. Ah, I see. Okay. Gotta get back. Oh. Uh, do I? Am I gonna waste my bullets or not? Well, that that will not kill it, right? No, but he's gonna. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He will be busy, so yeah. you can pass. You know, it, it looks scary, but it's like the dumbest things ever. So dumb. All right. Oh, no, yes, no, if no, you no, no, win, no. Uh, we will announce your nickname during the live stream and in the coming days after uh, today, uh, we will send you an email with the um, with the Steam voucher code, and you can digitally um, redeem it. Oh, there's more. There are always more than you have bullets. My aim is getting better, at least. Yeah, Did they drop something that I can use? No. Upgrade to a laser. <laughs> nope. Nothing. Okay, so far so good. I mean, nothing too difficult yet.
there are surprisingly a lot of bodies laying around. Okay, I think I'm finally getting out of the tunnel, <laughs> for God's sake. You could... yeah, like that. Box. Can you smash it? Yeah. Oh yeah. Health. Uh, Yoni, yes, the giveaway is international. Probably a few countries are excluded. If you can access Steam, you're included. We don't make any difference. Finding them outside. Oh, it's like Panzer. This one <laughs> is special. Yeah. Uh, Shoot it is, is lag. How to... Uh, there is a wall behind you. I know. I'm just waiting for them to uh, pass me. Oh, I can't walk past them. I see, I see, I see, I see. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> the shot. Uh, you missed. You missed. This uh, controller is really sensitive. I'm just gonna blame the walking. I think it was like instant karma. I just said like, so far so good. And the next thing that happens when I get up is uh, me getting my butt kicked. <clears throat> okay. Okay. I mean, there's gotta be a more efficient way to kill it. Other than spending three shotgun bullets. Something here. So anyone has any tips regarding how to properly, like... Oh. Time to bring out the big guy. So you missed the first one and you accidentally hit the second one. Nah, there's, there's, there's nothing accidental. Look like that. I think I gotta find a soft spot. Yeah. Oh, you, 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 you. <laughs> okay. Time to go. Let's reload this. Arms. They're Shots saying left. shoot them in, in the arms, it will explode. Yeah. Was it? What? Shoot them in the arms, they will explode. Shoot them in the arms. All right, yeah. I shall trust you guys. Five, five more. Probably not going to work. I need more bullets. I like the details, really. Pop, 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 pop. Can you stay down, please? Hey, I can move. Shoot me in the arm, shoot me in the arm. The other one. I guess on that. Oh. oh, that's why they have the thing on their arms. That's two. Oh. You don't have any homing missiles? But he won't die if I shoot him in the arm. The, yeah, yeah, can you use the gravity gloves more? more? Like uh, pick up some things, throw them at them? I tried that before, but it uh, didn't seem to do anything if I throw it at him. No Giveaway are twenty dollar Steam vouchers. Oh, let's give another one, Ja. Yes. Can you pause the game? So you have a break? Oh no! Don't want to go there. Don't want <laughs> to go, go there. Close it. Whew. <laughs> this game is starting to feel more difficult as I progress, which makes sense, but. Just need more time with this game, I guess.
Wow. All right, so who is the next winner? So guys, man, just talk to us. Like, do you have any uh, experience with VR games? Uh, have you played Alex? Uh, you know, how was your experience with it? Share with us and, uh, you know, we can have a good talk. Uh, the next winner is Gilles or Julius. Yeah, congratulations. Uh, hope you have fun with it. And uh, get something nice. Uh, if you haven't won yet, I suppose uh, I gotta, I gotta, you know, I gotta look at Eric to see if there's any more coming. You have a glass of water over there, right? Yeah, yeah, I do. Uh, but if you're lucky, there might still be one on the way. So you still have one yet. There might still be one chance left. Uh, All right. No questions for now, I guess. Well, I try to answer most of them. Can you aim down of uh, downside? Downside, as in like like scoped. Uh, no. One came in. <laughs> you go back in. All right. Got to wow. finish the job. Got to finish the job. My hair is in the way. Okay. You still have hair. <laughs> Continue. <sighs> I could go here and uh, what else can I do? I can go here, I can go there. No, I can't go there, I can't. Um, can you jump crouch? Uh, no, this, this game doesn't really show the jump animation. It just kind of skips. Like, if I can show it here. Uh, no, I can't. So, but okay. you can look in the container, right? Yeah, yeah, I can. Let's, oh, yeah, I knew it. Come here. <laughs> Don't die. Is there something scary in here? No, you can look, oh yeah, you can. Yeah, well, uh, Maroos, uh, we're not only live on YouTube, also on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, uh, even Mixer. Uh, and yeah, we can do that, but I think it ruined the gameplay. Uh, uh, not, not only for Ja. Ja, some people were saying, how, how can you read the uh, chat? Or how to make it possible that you read the chat? I mean, even if we put the comments Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, we can do that in VR as well. I saw somebody yeah, I streaming yeah, and he had a special was, menu. Yeah, there was this kind of plugin for uh, yeah. implementing, implementing this into Steam VR. Uh, we just didn't get to it yet, but I suppose but I can see. Probably each time you read a comment, you get killed. If I raise my head, I notice that I can see the chat. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> so cheater. I found a cheat. Uh, okay, I scavenge everything here. Let's uh, go to... Pull the planks off the door, uh, for, to open the door uh, entrance. Oh, you already did, sorry. <sighs> I'm slow here. Really. They are really a pain in the ass. But yeah, what has to be done, needs to be done. Oh, I can just shoot them through the thing, I think. Can I? Much better. Nothing. Wow. Mm, we have a rogue stream elements bot. He's saying on our Twitch channel we don't have a giveaway, but we have. What? <laughs> They don't have the giveaway, but they have? Yeah, I don't know who, who's managing that bot. Mike just told me. Look, I found Valve. Yeah, yeah. This is like an Easter egg. <laughs> Maybe I'm invisible if I keep holding this. Oh, it's uh, OVR drops of VR overlays. So then you can implement the chat. I 
But this is a dead end. Ah, I suppose. Oh wait, maybe I'm supposed to use this on somewhere. Is that possible? No. Nah. <laughs> Right, guess I'll uh, just go Is temperature back. for you okay, Ja? I put the air co on. The air yeah, it's it's awesome. Yeah, I, I thought I that. was uh, starting to feel a little bit of heat because, uh, yeah. You I know, know when up. you die too many times. <laughs> uh, really? It's a dead end? Where else am I supposed to go? I knew that wasn't going to work, but I was like, yeah, I might as well try it. But <laughs> Explosions are always cool. Yeah. But I think I pretty much got every corner covered and this one, yeah, no. Uh, that's definitely a no. Is there a ladder maybe that I have to climb? It's gotta be that way, but uh, maybe something to do with this. Go back to where you uh, found the valve. Good one. The valve, that's like clear right away. But this one is also- It was a, such a clear hint. Yeah, maybe pick it up and then maybe uh, put it, yeah, put it back on where it came from. Or was it lying on the ground? It was laying on, it was here. It was like this. Okay, well, I think you need it. Nah. Can't be. What, uh, what the hell am I supposed to use it on? One of this? No. This now, it's nothing to connect it to. Smash the door. Should we? Probably it's in the same room, not? No, not over there. Probably, I mean, something like that, yeah? Okay, put it on. No, okay. Yeah, just follow it. I mean, should be a, I guess. Oh. Ah! I was right, I had to use this. <laughs> Russian, you didn't understand it. I do, it's pretty much as like, na goeie bullet, previa bushka. So yeah, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Whew! So, when we get the combine off of Earth, this is like a uh, the alien factory. Jeez, infested. They really took over the human concept of a uh, factory. Yeah. Conservative estimate might take a one year to get the world unconquered by the combine, get them off the planet. So that's year one. Then another year to mass produce the Russells. Although, just quietly, we will need to rebuild society first. You know, to get some basic infrastructure, jobs, money, that sort of thing. Otherwise, people won't be able to buy them. You know. I think he needs to jump now. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah, definitely. You're going to want to put 
Who put fruit into a what fire distinguished box? Come on, Gaben. Well, there are those exploding cans. You put oh, you oh, probably careful, can't use them. Wow, really? It's the chain Alex. explosion. I think somebody in the chat said, "Don't die." Oh, that's how it's called as well. <laughs> right. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. That's the last time dying. You know, I never imagined when when first uh, when VR like first started that I will ever be really truly enjoying VR. And my fanboy can write Chinese. You're gonna want to put that in here too. I only know one character. I guess. Okay, let's shoot it from here then. I still died. I'm not even close. There's okay. Middle. Shao. Jeez. I was a small. Anyway. The thing's reach. It reaches crazy. Ja, yeah. Some Chinese in the chat. Oh, really? It <laughs> it practically asking if I speak. Yeah, if I can read Chinese ah. <laughs> or speak. You're gonna want to put that in here too. So yeah, the answer to that is yes. I don't like. I want to blow it up, but I keep dying to it. Maybe so maybe here. maybe that's not how to do it. But, like, how am I still dying from here? Alex. So, come on. But I like explosions. <laughs> <laughs> okay, scrap it. Yeah, so those of you who doesn't know, I'm actually on my way throughout. Yeah, I was supposed to be riding a train to get to where they were going to transport my dad in game, which captured by CP uh, Civil Protection. But uh, the train broke down, of course, for the story uh, purpose. And I have to walk all the way there to uh, free my dad. Okay, don't shoot explosion bars. Okay. Do you have anything for me, sir? Any ammo? No? Okay. Nothing here. Nope. Oh, give up. Quite scary environment. Making my way downtown. Walking fast. Why, why would they even suck them up? Hi, muscled pepper. <coughs> okay, guys. Okay, okay. It's way too quiet. I feel like something bad is going to happen. My fanboy speaks of right Chinese and speaks Dutch. Mm, strange. Oh, oh this is going to be tricky. Yeah. Ooh, passed it. Too many of them here. Uh, well, why are you not something. shooting them? I have what? Uh, oh, I have 40 bullets. Okay, okay, sure. What does this mean? I'm about to die. <laughs> well, you already did three times in a row. Uh, oh, that's that's dangerous. Yeah, how about that? How about no? All right, it's going to be a precision strike. Like you sh try to shot, shoot the uh, one and you shot the other one. <laughs> okay, I don't need to shoot that one. It's a waste of bullets. Come here. <laughs> Please do in-game suicide. Well, y in case you missed it, I already died five times. <laughs> yeah, six maybe. Like just one minute ago. Yeah, Portal 3 for VR. That, that That's, I guess, also a perfect title. Okay, yeah, I need to find another fall. <laughs> that's a dangerous. Try to shoot the slot. 
I see the far off. Hmm. Yeah, the let's, luck. let's the just luck. shoot it. No, no, the luck. It's Why good that so you many... don't have Mike with you because you know what he will do, right? Yeah. <laughs> so this is tactical. All right, this way it is. So, this whole three here wrestling. There's another one of them? Yeah. I think, uh, I think you have a job for me. I hear monsters. No, Alex, you invented the Alex. It's oh, too dark here. Oh, well, uh, hmm. Well, there would be stock options. Five to ten year vesting period, obviously. Could be very lucrative for you, Alex, in the long term. I don't know what I'm Hello. Sounds good. <laughs> yep, sounds good. Alex? Uh, just in a bit, we will pick another winner. Ah, oh, come on. Well. You're stuck? This is way too dark. Okay. I knew that already, but why is it telling me? This. Are you trying to touch my bullet? Yeah, somebody's asking how much weight do you lose like after playing a VR game? That's interesting. How I many? Mean, how many weight? Yeah. How many kilograms? <laughs> I'm confused. It's so intensive. Is it, is it like a comparison? No, how much weight will you lose after playing? Oh, how playing will it? I lose? I, I thought you said use. No. <laughs> uh, I didn't really eat well today, so probably gonna be like five kilograms. Well, we should have done a test. Put you in scale in the beginning. Yeah, we should have, huh? All right, let's get serious. We need to get business done. Okay. So, this whole three year wrestle plan. You think, uh. You think you'd have a job for me? Job? Alex, you invented the Alex. Of course you can have a job. We could be partners. Oh, well, uh. Hmm. Well, there would be stock options. Five to ten year vesting period, obviously. Could be very. Wow. Again, Ja. I didn't shoot. I mean, he chewed on it and exploded. It's not my fault, right? <sighs> Next time we should uh, we should, should practice first, so we know you can deliver. Yeah. <laughs> Ideally, I would like to walk on my own instead of using the joystick to walk, because. Uh, it's uh, it's just so much more difficult so using the joystick. It's so it's never as precise as you move mm -hmm. yourself. Can I? Yeah. 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 People think you will sleep well tonight. Oh yeah. <laughs> Maybe some nightmares. Oh well. Uh, hmm. Still don't have laser pointer. Nope. I, I didn't I, I didn't see any upgrade bench. So. Sounds good. Sounds yep, good, sounds, sounds good. good. Alex? Uh, can't pass through here. Can't. No. Sorry, buddy. Gotta die. Okay. Anything else that I missed, maybe? Yeah, nightmares. Hey. Oh. Something is blinking here. Ah, uh, how can I get that? Maybe like this? It doesn't move!
No, it doesn't let me grab it. Really, do I really have to go in there? <sighs> Come on. Nope. Yeah, Marus, uh, I saw also saw some some kind of treadmills uh, in which you can walk in VR. You need to put them like like socks or something. But I'm not sure how the experience is. But I, I think I mean the the, the 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 hand and arm and finger movements. That's already fixed quite a lot. And, and I mean it's still in the beginning of the VR, so. Yeah, there are more games who will uh, continue to um, yeah, invent or evolve. Oh, another one here. If you miss him, you know what's in the back, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Six bullets. He's still alive. Jesus. Okay, ah, another one. Just gotta continue the walk, walk the walk. Now please get out of here, thank you. Temperature still fine, Ja? Yeah, okay, it cool. is uh, awesome. Uh, okay guys, I feel like we're getting close. No, 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 he's gonna chew it to explode. Sure. Ooh. Ooh. I think it's time to bring out the big gun. Hello. No! <laughs> Jack! You, you first said, it feels like I'm, I'm you know. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I have to bring out the big gun? Now you need to start all over again, huh? <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no, no. Oh, at least I'm in chapter three. Do you need a break? I mean, this uh, is so frustrating. You're trying your best to get through this maze. Ah, okay, at least I'm starting here. That's good, that's good. Okay, not all the way over at the beginning. Okay, be careful. So, so now, do, don't use the big gun. Maybe for the sake of argument, I'm gonna still use it. <laughs> First, you're gonna die. Oh, reload. First, you're gonna die. And. No. Yeah, that's a good call. Now, reload? No, 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 no. Pump him in the head. Okay. That's it. That's what I'm talking about. Yay! The valve! Thank you. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Let's uh, get some health. Still can't get over how, how creepy this is. <laughs> Like new. Can you also upgrade your glove? Uh, I'm not sure. I haven't, uh, I haven't seen anything about that yet. So just put it in your pocket. You probably need it. Yeah, I need this to. I need to go back now. And uh, hey, you need to go back. Well, uh, before I got in here, there was a place probably here where Maybe I had you to use this. There is a lock. You can. Uh, that's, I mean... 
Was it here or here? I think here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Achievement unlocked, it says. Well, you didn't. Hello, new chapter. Wow. Okay, so maybe we do another giveaway. <sighs> Finally. Oh, wait, geez, I'm all the way here now. Yeah, guys, probably going to be our uh, last giveaway today. So, who might it be? Jackson Wall. Jackson Wall, congratulations. I hope you're going to have a lot of fun with it. And uh, what do you say, Eric? Uh, shall we continue or? Uh... Yeah, maybe do, just do a little bit more. Okay, are you guys ready for the big finale? The big suicide mission? Because uh, I'm going to make this uh, a big bang. Last part. Yes. Uh, we have to quit on time because otherwise security will kick us out. And uh, <clears throat> so this, let me see. So in situations like this, it's perfect to be staying at home, enjoying some VR game because, well, I'm not sure uh, how it's doing in your respective country, but here right now, yeah. you know, for me, yeah, we, I we like go outside out. much more. Ah, it's outside again. Light. Thank you. Okay. What kind of fun shall we have? Let's take closure. Look at it. Fucking. Combine. Oh, yes. hey, look. Can you shoot shoulder? the shoulder? A jump? You always walk with only two bullets around, right? I'm good, guys. I'm just gonna roll these jeans and oh. Yeah. Can you jump down? Ah, uh, yes. I think I can. Oh, wait, there's the empty one. Oh, look at this. <laughs> yeah. Looks like he uh, he didn't have any pain. It was over right away. Yeah. Uh, should I jump down or maybe something here? Nah, let's jump down. No, I think this is too high to jump down. I'll die. Uh, the game won't allow it, so I gotta maybe find cross the bridge or where something. Where I should probably here. On top of it. No, I mean on top of the, uh, the train. Let's see. Can't you jump here? Left side, left side, left side. No, that might not be so stupid. Except, uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> nope. <laughs> ah, yeah. okay. Something interesting here. Really, I have to go down again? <sighs> I need to release some anger. I saw a 20 RTX 27 Tri for Razer. Is this a new model? That's a good question. Oh, well, yeah, but what does he consider new? Uh, well, let me check that because I saw we released something. I don't think it's new model. But something new is coming up, you'll see soon. But I'm not allowed to talk about that. Yeah, Jack can speak Chinese. Okay. Another let's, puzzle? Let's do this. Yes. It's just it's too easy. Okay, now I can upgrade. 
Cool. Let's see how the laser will look. Maybe at one point you can get a bazooka or something. No, there are actually only three guns in this game. Uh, really? The pistol, the shotgun, oh. and one more that I'm still... Yeah. I'm supposed like to a get. rifle? Yeah, I think so. Oh, laser sight. 35... Whoa, that's expensive. I can't even buy it. I need three more... Uh, yeah. Three more raisins. Well, more bullets, always helpful. And what's the other one? Burst fire. No, if you miss one. Expensive stuff. Goodbye. Goodbye. Well, one more, more, really? Well, okay, okay, okay. Wow, I really got robbed. Ow. Come to Papa, come to Papa, come to Papa. Wow, my gun's looking pretty good. Rest. Ooh. Uh, at this point, it's kind of our gun. Cool. Extra bullets? Yeah. <laughs> so, how many bullets am I holding? Not sure. Maybe you need to reload it. Looks uh, like here. only three. I think I, every dot represents one bullet. Or okay. here, with every oh, dot. Okay. That's okay. <coughs> we get to test it out pretty soon. Probably. Can you speed run this chapter, Ja? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I don't think so. Whoa, that, uh, uh, oh, he has a nice gun. Can you pick it up? Yeah, I think that's the third gun. The oh, and it's gone. Uh, let me grab some bullets first. Yeah, you see? Three dots left. It's yeah. uh, bullets. Wow, first normal looking human. Well, still. Yeah, he's dead. Where's the gun? Yeah, it disappeared. It looked like it was underneath him, but... Yeah, well, I don't think you are allowed to have it because it faded away. No, come on, dude. You need to go outside, find more enemies. <sighs> no, I guess. Too bad. <laughs> Give it. No, it's too good uh, to be I'm true. not going to even tell him that. Only bad things come from that. I'm Speed like run. censoring the chat for you, Ja. What? Some people have bad ideas. Okay. <laughs> I think we are all about bad ideas, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, let me try speed run this. No, we will get motion sick. Oh, great. So you, you probably have to get on. Oh, this is where I'm supposed to be. No, that doesn't explode. Where do you go? Time to get some Rumble action in there. Should we maybe say later in the description on YouTube that it contains it? spoilers? I think so, right? I guess that's it. Wow, look at this guy. <laughs> <laughs> He's taking a break. <laughs> yeah. Do they at least have bullets for me? No, okay, it's not it's too good to be true. Oh yeah, there's one. Okay. Which way to go?
This is too far away for this. was uh, one bullet too much, I guess. Yeah, let's uh, call the end. Oh, that was actually really, really good in interaction with uh, how you approach a fight. I mean, usually, you know, with games, you... Uh, Want to do it again? You might have some. Uh, I think uh, my head's going to explode. Yeah. <laughs> VR survival <sighs> run. Yeah, but normally, you know, you have to uh, press the button to either lean left or right. But now you really have to do it like physically. And the, the fact that you can do it, it's really fun. Uh, so, yeah, see. I'm just going to give another one away. I mean, a lot of people. Yeah, uh, I feel like the last few weeks, whenever Eric is like uh, <laughs> yes. directing, many people would get uh, the voucher. So yeah. the last winner is... I remember him from two weeks ago or last week. Falligator, congratulations. Cool. Again, uh, have fun with it. So everyone who won uh, Steam Falchico today, uh, congratulations. Hope you guys all have fun with it. And yeah, I hope you guys all really enjoyed today's live stream. I mean, I certainly had a lot of fun uh, you playing very with well. Valve Index. And Alex, uh, again, we have to thank our lovely uh, colleague Peter for, uh, you know, lending us his valuable set of Valve Index. I think he wants it back tonight. He wants to finish this game. <clears throat> well, or we can just run away with it and then just <laughs> Ruxus a paper who keeps playing tonight. Yeah. But yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's for today's uh, VR live stream with Alex. I hope you, I hope you guys uh, had a lot of fun. We definitely learned a lot. Setting this up was like a huge pain in the... Uh, so it was not easy. And luckily today, nothing went wrong, right? Technically. Nope. So. Yeah, we're improving, and uh, thanks a lot for uh, you know having uh, keeping the chat going. It's really always uh, fun to uh, interact with you guys and to talk with you throughout the chat. And even though if Eric uh, is not here, he's still uh, you know behind the camera interacting with you guys. So it was all really yeah, you, fun. You couldn't read the chat. No, most of the time I couldn't. So it was good that he could. And uh, well, guys, make sure to tune in next week too, because next week we're going to reveal a brand new product. Not a joke. No. It's not even a joke. So, a uh, 21 by 9 MAG 301 CR, our new monitor. And next week, I'm going to unveil it to you guys and uh, show you what it's all about and what kind of fun you can have with a 21 by 9 30 inch monitor. And you're going to play Doom Eternal. Yeah. <clears throat> so, if you're fun with Doom, you know, only thing that's eternal is Doom. So, make sure to tune in and uh, hope to see you guys next week. And uh, have a good day, guys. Thanks for watching, and uh, see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.